Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Pistol. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, all right, get through the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your hands, not fight. trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This is a walk in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Got the single collar tie. And then he lands a nice elbow. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Good punch. Big elbow there, lands. Right hand punch from the clinch. Massive knee lands from the high point. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Beautiful strike. Couple 
of gins here being tested early. So once again, leaning on that long reach as he counters effectively with a jab to the head. Barely missed on an uppercut right here. Right side. Ty Clinch, a lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Nice entry. The record is nice kick. Oh, and he gets the single leg takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. Back to the feet now. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. And able to land a nice shot there on the inside. Big power shot there. and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Big fall from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, single collar tie here. Strong defense there to block the shot. Keep your hands up. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. And there comes the separation now. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. And he landed the right hand there. And they separate. Landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Single collar tie now. He lands flush with that right hand. Beautiful kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Okay, you ready, round two, ready? Two, round two is underway. That knee attempt is blocked. Hey. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause 
I believe the jab has been working so well that he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish this fight. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. Oh! oh yes. Back to the feet. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Ooh, what a punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Oh, nice. Three minutes remain in the round. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat... Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big knee! Straight punch lands. Big head kick land. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Just missed with the left there. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this big jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Good jab. Nice one-two combination there. Just misses there with the left. Oh, big head kick lands. Whipped on the uppercut there. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 15 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.